नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर सोमा सेन रॉय फ्रॉम इंडिया मीटरोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई विल डिस्कस विथ यू टूडे द वेदर ड्यूरिंग द पास्ट वन वीक विच इज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट टू ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इफ यू सी द मेन फीचर्स ड्यूरिंग द पास्ट वीक एज यू विल नोट दैट मॉनसून एडवांस्ड इन टू मोर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री दिस हैपन्ड आफ्टर some hiatus that is from 13th after 13th first time the monsoon uh, line advanced into uh, mainly western parts of india uh, gujarat madhya pradesh rajasthan uh, from 20th to today 27th of june 2024 the second part which is important is that conditions are becoming favorable during this week for monsoon to further advance into uh, the remaining parts of uh, north india uh, mostly uh, bengal jharkhand bihar uttar pradesh punjab haryana uh, regions as well as western himalayan region any part that is remaining the second most important fact of the week was that heat wave conditions abated from most parts of the country uh, mainly from 20th june onwards and uh, only isolated heat wave conditions were realized the third important fact of the week was there were thunderstorm activity mainly along uh, madhya pradesh uh, uttar pradesh and uh, of course uh, himachal pradesh uh, uttarakhand and himachal pradesh and of course uh, bihar jharkhand odisha and west bengal associated with these thunderstorms there was frequent cloud to ground lightning and there were reports of casualties if we see the weather systems that caused the weather during the last one week first is the monsoon related systems there was a cyclonic circulation over northeast and adjoining east central bay of bengal uh, in the middle tropospheric levels uh, during 21st to 23rd june there was another cyclonic circulation over interior odisha in lower and middle tropospheric levels during 21st to 23rd june uh, in the lower levels there was an east west trough during 21st to 25th june subsequently on 25th june a uh, fresh cyclonic circulation formed over east central bay of bengal in the lower and middle tropospheric levels which has now moved to northwest and adjoining west central bay of bengal over the western side we have uh, a cyclonic circulation over south gujarat which is also formed simultaneously with the circulation over uh, over uh, bay of bengal and this circulation is also existing as of date and it is also extending up to middle tropospheric levels another factor if you see there are two western disturbances the first was from 21st to 25th the second is currently persisting and these two western disturbances had a major role to play in weather over northwest india which brought clouding and abated the heat wave conditions over the region whereas the first few systems mainly brought rainfall activity over peninsular india and east and northeast india and thunderstorm activity over central and east central india this is the low level uh, wind anomaly and observed rainfall as you can see uh, the this is an 850 hp wind anomalies and this is a uh, wind forecast and sorry wind observed and the uh, observed corresponding rainfall if you see the rainfall was most uh, prevalent mainly the highest rainfall was all along the west coast of india and also over east northeast india mainly subhimal and west bengal and of course assam meghalaya and arunachal pradesh if you see the rainfall distribution the reports of heavy very heavy and extremely heavy rainfall you will note that the highest frequencies along the west coast as you can see highlighted in blue 
The next, as you can see, is over Savimala and West Bengal and Sikkim. There were reports of large scale uh, uh, tourist, uh, uh, tourist uh, inconvenience, especially over Sikkim. Uh, there was a third patch over South Chhattisgarh and a fourth patch over Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. So heavy rainfall was recorded, but mostly it was these four regions which saw the maximum amount of rainfall during the last week. If you divide up this rainfall in homogeneous in terms of homogeneous regions over India during the monsoon season, you will note that the seasonal rainfall till date is below normal over the season, over the entire region. Uh, while the normal is 134 millimeter, we have had so far 109 millimeter rainfall. If you see in terms of regions, homogeneous regions, it, the country has been divided into four homogeneous regions. Northwest India, as you can see, it is highly deficient. Uh, the East India is somewhat deficient. Central India is better and Peninsular India is the best performing. This is hence the rainfall map during the week. As you can see, Central India and South Peninsular India, of course, not considering Karnataka, interior Karnataka and Rayal Sima, but other parts of Peninsular India and West and Central India, because of the monsoon systems, got ample amount of rainfall and rainfall was normal or above normal, green or blue. Whereas North India did not see, because of absence of any low pressure system, because of absence of, uh, 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 because of a long hiatus in the uh, advance of monsoon, North India has received much below normal rainfall. So has East and Northeast India. If you see the seasonal rainfall, seasonal rainfall does not indicate much rainfall over North India during this a month because it is expected that rainfall will be less but uh, peninsular India overall has been the highest performing and parts of central India. This is the statistics of the rainfall as you can see the northwest India had the highest uh, negative departures of minus 51 percent and only south peninsular India overall had a positive departure of 13 percent. This is the heat wave realized. As I said, from 20th June, heat wave conditions have abated from the country. Only isolated one place or two places throughout the country have not seen heat waves. So, <clears throat> if by a criteria of two stations, if we consider heat wave realized, uh, two days of heat waves were realized over Punjab and uh, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, and one day of heat wave was realized over. Odisha. And if you see in terms of maximum temperature during the week, 45.4 in Jaisalmer on 25th June was the highest maximum temperature and uh, minimum temperature of 19.2 over West Madhya Pradesh was the minimum. If you see the thunderstorm activity uh, associated with mainly the monsoon systems, like I said, there were repeated a, one after the other cyclonic circulations over the Bay of Bengal and a circulation over Gujarat. Because of these systems, the, inter, the moisture incursion from the Arabian Sea in the Bay of Bengal caused a lot of thunderstorm activity, especially over Central and East India. Because of which there were reports of human and animal casualties from these regions. This has been the most, uh, this is the saddest uh, thing for the uh, country during this week. If you see the weather uh, synoptic systems real, uh, as of today, uh, you will note that as I said, there is a circulation over Gujarat. Uh, trough extends from it in the lower levels up to Bihar. This is pumping moisture all along the trough into North and Central India. There is a shear zone in the middle tropospheric levels 3.1, 5.8 over at 17 degree north uh, latitude. This is a very uh, significant fact of monsoon season. And of course, the offshore trough is seen off the North uh, Kerala, uh, Maharashtra to North Kerala coasts. Uh, 
Other than this, there are uh, spread out cyclonic circulations which have their own effect on the uh, on the rainfall of the country. So, what are we expecting during the week? Uh, we are expecting, as you can see, a uh, formation of a low pressure system is likely with very less probability, uh, as I will show you more clearly later. And this circulation of a Gujarat is likely to move away westwards and stop affecting the Indian region. But mainly the trough line will become, will, is like the east-west trough line is likely to strengthen during the week and rainfall increase over North India. So this is our warning map. As you can see, extremely heavy, only one day we have given during this week for coastal Karnataka for today. Other than that, if you see these orange colored warnings all indicate very heavy rainfall. As you can see today, it is mainly over West India. Tomorrow onwards, very heavy rainfall is likely over Uttarakhand and UP as well as Gujarat, uh, Saurashtra Kutch and along the West Peninsular coast. And subsequently, as you can see, very heavy rainfall is likely to decrease over, uh, is likely to first increase over North India and thereafter decrease from uh, on 30th and 1st. Heavy rainfall is likely to occur over most parts of the country today, but subsequently, as you can see, peninsular India is likely to dry out. This is, as I was discussing, the cyclogenesis. This is the extended range forecast. There is low probability of the formation of a feeble low pressure area over northwest and adjoining west central Bay of Bengal. This is only a feeble uh, low probability, uh, but associated with it, even with the circulation, rainfall activity is likely to increase over North India because of which heavy to very heavy rainfall warning has been issued. There is also low probability of formation of another low pressure area over North Bay of Bengal and its subsequent northwestward movement along the monsoon trough, which is likely to form, uh, become more uh, established during the next week. Over uh, its likely movement along the monsoon trough is likely to give more rainfall over the region. So this is the rainfall map. Like I was discussing, the rainfall is likely to be above normal over. Uh, the plains of North India during this upcoming week as well as West India and during the subsequent week a southwards uh, formation of uh, the fresh low pressure system and its northwestward movement across the plains of India is likely to give uh, uh, above normal rainfall mainly over East Central and Northwest India. This is what is written here that in the next week uh, the region where monsoon has not yet advanced in North India, uh, monsoon is likely to advance, in fact, within the next two to three days. And sub uh, subsequently, in the week after, and therefore, uh, the rest of the warnings are according to it. And the week two, which is from 4th to 11th July, we are expecting, uh, as associated with the formation of the fresh low pressure system, uh, rainfall activity is likely to be above normal over most parts of the country, but it seems to have a more southward uh, formation of, and movement because of which the northern parts of East India, mainly North East UP, uh, Bihar, Sabhimal and West Bengal and North East India are not likely to get much rainfall. If you see the temperature, extended range forecast for temperature, the temperature pattern indicates that most parts of India uh, are likely to see uh, temperatures of below 36 degrees, uh, 34 degrees Celsius, most parts of India. Only Northwest India is likely to be 34 to 36 degrees Celsius, mainly Punjab and Northwest Rajasthan. And this is, entire region is likely to be above normal by 2 to 3 degrees Celsius. However, 1 to 2 degrees Celsius, however, we do not expect any heat wave conditions to recur. Week 2, we are expecting uh, further decrease in maximum temperatures and as I said about the formation of the fresh low pressure system in week 2, we are not like the this region, not northern parts of East India and Northeast India where rainfall is not likely to be very much, temperatures are likely to rise slightly.
this is what is given here. Uh, finally, the main fact of this week is rainfall. We are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall with orange alert has been given to many states during the week as I showed. So there is likely to be impact and please stay warned. Please follow all these precautions to stay safe. Thank you and follow us on all these platforms for the Mosa map as well as from the IMD website. Thank you. Namaskar.